guys, welcome back to Mums and Melanin. I'm Debbie. I'm Ayola. I'm Tukumbo. I'm Takoni. And today, y'all, I'm going to tell you something different. I like, <laughs> I'm telling you the same thing. Every Tuesday, meet us here. Yeah, I'm yeah. not here, you're square. Okay, 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 okay. Now we've got that out of the way. The real topic today, guys, is milestones, development mm. in our children. How do we spot when our child's doing what they're supposed to be doing or if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing? Like, when do we think, when do we seek help? Mm. I don't know. I kind of just follow Google. You know Google is my best mate. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? See, what do you do? I think milestones are so interesting mm. because, you know, as a parent, you always have the motto, every child is different. Mm. But actually, there are, like, some general norms that children need to sort of achieve. Yeah. Um, so, with my son, I don't... Again, as, as parents, you're taught not to compare your child to other kids. So I try not to compare him, but I do kind of get like a soft gauge. Like when he goes to nursery and I see the other kids from nursery, I kind of get like a soft gauge of where he's at. Mm. So um, even like when we had, before he was born, we did like those antenatal sessions, isn't it? Yeah. And um, the group meets up quite regularly. I try and go from time to time. And I remember I went to one of the meetups and one of the boys was just talking so well. When I mean like full sentences, he was like, oh, I went and like, he, they were literally just turned two. He was like, oh, I went to the trains yesterday and I was so scared. And I was oh. looking at my son like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you start thinking of Kevin Hart. You know the way Kevin Hart talks about his son, like, you're just looking at, <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine, no problem. But um, that kind of set off a little in my head. Yeah. But I left mm. it. Again, it's, what is it? Do you know what I mean? That could be, maybe he's just a genius. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Amongst us. It's fine. Um, and then um, I guess my son had a health visitor review at two years old. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, like, these things are really important. Yeah. Like, this, yeah, NHS England, this country we live in, they're, they're trying. Things aren't perfect, don't get me mm. wrong. But they do try and have systems in place to catch things. Mm. Like, I know right after you have a baby, the health visitor comes, yeah. the midwives yeah. comes. That is amazing. Yeah. Even that service to, like, ask questions as a new mum. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And then about nine to 12 months, you get another health visitor checkup. Yeah. And... I think during COVID, it may have been like over the phone and stuff like that. Yeah. But you can go in and speak to them and that's when they give you advice on weaning. Mm. Like I remember when I went in for Roma's one, actually, the lady was like, oh, stop giving him um, formula at night. Mm. Like, it's bad for the teeth. Mm. They actually tried to give them water. Like, by this age, they should be able to get all their calories during the day. Because yeah. mm. they're touching one, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So stuff like that, just little tips that you just don't know. Mm. Like, so it's always good to like speak to the professional. So I would say, if they've missed you out and it does happen, yeah. just give your GP a call. So anyway, so Roman was coming around to his two-year review. And um, again, they go through that questionnaire. So they're asking about whether he can like jump with two feet, whether he can yeah. walk, whether he can run. Yeah, they go through everything to yeah, kind of squat to see yeah. milestones. Mm. Yeah, they do that yeah. nine months as well. But nine months one, I don't think I paid much attention to. But mm. two years, he was doing more, so it was mm. more in depth. So they asked about like, his social skills, his physical development, yeah. and then um, the lady asks about his speech. Like, is he? Um, are you able to give him two step commands? Mm. Um, how many words do you think he's saying? Is his speech clear? This, this, that. And during that call, she was like, oh. Um, um, it seems that um, there may be a bit of delay there, but he's only two and normal is so wide at that age. Mm. So let's just kind of play it by ear and see. Um, and yeah, see how you feel like maybe later on down the line. So I was like, fine, no problem. Um, and then I went to the nursery and I was like, oh, what do you guys think about his speech? Bear in mind, all the kids will say, oh, when they leave school, they'll be like, oh, Roman's mom, they'll be like, Roman, Roman. My son ain't told me not one of their names. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm wondering, are they even your friends? Like, you know what I mean? It's not really... Whatever, but they'll be saying his name a lot. So then I was like to nurse you, what do you think? And they were like, yeah, you know, we were thinking about it. There may be a slight delay. Mum, what do you want to do kind of thing? So I was like, okay, you refer him and I'll contact the health visitor that I spoke to and get him referred. Let's tackle it from both ends mm. and see. So, um, and to be honest, it wasn't really a second thought. Like, I think for me, I'm more of a, let's sort it out now. Yeah. Let, let, let's just get it sorted now so that he just grows up fine as opposed to leaving it. Mm. And I think sometimes we can think that things will get better on their own. Mm. But as parents, like our job is to advocate for our kids. Yeah. Like, I'm not judging anybody, do you know what I mean? Because we all have our own traumas and our own reasons yeah. why yeah. we kind of procrastinate and things like that. But I, I would say like, especially with everything with Roman, for me, it's just so important just to tackle it head on. Mm. Like, I don't want things to get worse. Let's just sort it out and know what we're dealing with. And mm. like, because my, my role as the burden I feel as a parent is to give him the best life possible, isn't mm. it? So, yeah. So then um, I got him referred and um, obviously lo it's local authority, isn't it? So they're just taking their sweet time. I'm chasing as you sometimes have to do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to kind of get stuff 
go in and they get him like an initial assessment and they're like yeah okay there is a bit of a delay but it's the same sort of thing like he may get better mm. but I was like okay let's let, let's see what we can do like let's start the therapy they go okay they'll put me on the waiting list and I think I oh sorry just now thinking it doesn't help when people are like oh it's they don't no one's gonna come and tell you oh your son can't speak, it's terrible, it's like extreme. Mm. Everyone's trying to be nice, but that mm. niceness, well, if you're not yeah. sharp, it will make yeah. you think everything's fine. Yeah. Let me leave it. Because, the, oh, there is a bit, but you know, let's see. Oh, there is a yeah. bit, let's see. But when was that, when will that bit become too much? Yeah. And now we're too late. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So actually, sometimes the subtle hints, we need to pick up on it. Yeah. If there's an, oh, you know, mm, I've noticed. What, what are you noticing? Mm, tell yeah. me more. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, let's 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 home in on that. And I know sometimes it's difficult to hear because it's your kid, you know? Yeah. You want your kid to be perfect, they're your pride and joy. Mm. But hearing that again will avoid pain later. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so then I'm chasing for therapy, blah, blah, blah. And he did a few sessions and they give me some advice, like um five minutes of special time a day with him. Mm. So he can kind of really see that the words in my mouth, make sure we're doing eye contact, turn the TV off so he can focus on me. Yeah. When I'm playing with him, get down to eye level, eye contact, because they're learning through playing and stuff like that. And all of that some of it I was doing already but it was good to hear anyway yeah. and then um we moved and then I got him um referred to this well this barber does things a bit differently they, they don't do like the in-therapy sessions but for his age group they do like a nursery course mm. so it's a 10-week course and he's literally in nursery with the speech and language therapist for half a day mm. and that guys <laughs> That was a winner. Like, it's literally a winner. Like, the other parents were like, oh, yeah, my kid's really improved. And I was looking at mine thinking, mm, I'm not too sure. But just, you know, I gave it some time. And now it's like, wow, it's actually really helping it. Difference. It's really working. But these things, if you don't, like, imagine if you rewind it all the way back, the health is always like, oh, there may be something. We'll review it. Yeah. If I let the sleeping dogs lie yeah. and left it as that, we would have seen no progress yeah. from then till now. Do you know what I mean? Over a year has passed and there's been progress mm -hmm. because... I've been able to check in. And by all means, I'm not like the best mum or anything. Do you know what I mean? We're all doing our best. Yeah. But I would say, like, you have to advocate for your kids. It's important to look into it because you don't know what access is out there. Mm. Like, speak to the health visitor. Like, I didn't even know speech and language therapists. Like, you know, you kind of think, oh, these things are private or whatever. Yeah. Who knew was there? Who knew they were even reducing my nursery fees because they're <laughs> taking my son for half the day for free? It's true. For free, literally, there's six of them in the class. There's like four members of staff and they really kind of work with them to do those building blocks. So, amazing. Yeah, and, but we don't know. You don't ask if you yeah. don't. You know, closed mouths don't get faith. You don't kind yeah. of go to inquire. You'll never know. Like, yeah. there's so many like, allied health services, dietitians, like, that they want your child to succeed. Mm. It's not perfect, but they're trying to set things up and I think mm. it's important that we sort of take advantage. So yeah, mm. he's going through the speech and language therapy and it's, it's really helping. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm really grateful for it. But I do know that if I would have left it, nothing would have got done. Yeah. And you just would have kept on flowing, going to reception, just a bit behind, just a bit behind, a bit behind. And then before you know it, I'm shouting at him to do his work, but it's not mm. his fault. Do you know what mm. I mean? That's where you end up. You know, like our parents, like, one plus one, yeah. one plus one. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But actually, yeah, the reason why is because there's a whole load of things. Yeah. Maybe it's a learning difficult. There, there could be so many other things in the background yeah. that just need to be need to be resolved. Catch it early. Exactly. And not being afraid to look for that help and ask for that help. Yeah. You don't catch it early, you end up dealing with the aftermath. aftermath. Yeah. 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 And yeah. also, I feel like it's like you said as well. We all want our children to be perfect. Now, mm. like my perfect little baby, and look what he's doing. Everybody, as parents, whether you know you do or you not or, or not. Oh yeah, did I tell you what I'm married with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did, 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 did. Mm. And then as a parent, you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, no, it's true, you're not it. <laughs> and it's like, if I told one skit, like the African auntie, oh, my child is a lawyer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I'm getting married. <laughs> oh, but my son just finished his master and it's a twin PhD. Yeah. You know, like, so it's not, we're not in competition. Yeah. yeah. But there's always the, the need to want to show and showcase how well our children mm. are doing. So the slightest thing that, doesn't seem like hmm, this doesn't look like it's correct okay let me just leave it on the hush or maybe yeah. like yeah it, uh, or, or maybe it'll go it away yeah. Like, yeah yeah actually no like t said there's so many um people that are ready to help and yeah. you know encourage the, the learning and the development yeah things yeah that we don't know ourselves because granted we don't know everything we don't yes, with their mother yeah have their best interest at heart but sometimes that actually means putting their Taking that step back and letting somebody else take the lead, yeah, like in the parts where you actually don't know what the you're expert, doing. exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, it's, actually, it's fine, it's okay. Because when your child is now telling you the quantum physics or something or something, like, that's it, you did that, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did that. Like, exactly. I, exactly. If, if I left you to you, what would you know? <laughs> I did that, <laughs> uh, it's true.
obviously milestones and um, development, I feel like they're very important. Like, yeah, yeah like you don't necessarily always need to follow each milestone mm. because I know for me, Amara only got teeth the other day. Mm. Literally, mm. the other day, she's two years old. And I was looking around at all these kids with their mouth full of something, <laughs> choking up their apple. Roman that we said apple, apple. apple. <laughs> this guy's been eating apple since he was like, oh, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. He was born with it, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Came out, the apple came out. They came out together. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been looking at uh, this guy has been eating apples since you died. Can you eat your apple? Which white guy? You know, like I was like, yeah. what's happening? She didn't walk till she was like 14 months. Yeah. You know, like Keanu walks at 10 months. There's so many different, different things that be happening. And you're just like, you're wondering, like, are you hitting the correct milestone? Is it, you'd be looking at, yeah. you'll be finding. Yeah. But really, there's no real time frame for a child. Yeah. And yes, every child is different. Every I child yeah. is like that. I think, every child is different. I think they have like those sort of, like not deal breakers, but basically it's like, a warning, like yeah. seek advice yeah. if it gets this far. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. looking at them, it's like, okay, if you've got a six month old and they can't put things to their mouth, because you know they put everything in their yeah. mouth, that's maybe to inquire with your GP. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You've got an 18 month old and um, they don't, what was it? I think um, they don't like interact with their parents. Do you know what I mean? Mm. They have no desire to interact. Look into that. Or they don't know more than six words as well. Look mm. into that. Do you know what I mean? They've got for three-year-olds, a five-year-old, they can't say their first and last name. Mm. Again, look into that. So I think there mm. are some things that... And again, it may be fine. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I think for teeth, they say 12 months. And by the time you look into it, they're like, oh, it's fine. Give them more time. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. But there's no harm in asking. Yeah. Just because you never know. Like You don't want to be a hypochondriac always on the phone. This is it. But there's no, there's no harm in just inquiring. Oh, is this all right? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And, and the thing then, is, a lot of these medical professionals, they don't do a lot when it comes to babies. Like, no. they, don't, they won't do too much because they still try to give them a chance. Yes. But it's good to have someone just, yeah. do you know what I mean, on the yeah. other side that's monitoring it with you. Yeah. And I think the important thing that you said, Debbie, is, you know, when you're talking to your parent, to your, your mummy friends or whatever, don't shy away from sharing the things that maybe your child isn't doing. Because if, for example, say my child wasn't, I don't know, you like you said, Amara didn't have teeth and my child, if you, if you didn't say there was concern, I might not be able to say to you, oh, there's someone actually that I can yeah. introduce you yeah. or program. Or you, for example, saying, oh, do you know, it's free. They take you. Because sometimes we go away with our thoughts and all these concerns yeah. and, oh, then it's expensive and I have to pay for this and I have to figure out that. And sometimes the answer's right there and it's not as complicated yeah. as you made it in your head. It's not, yeah. So talking to people about, not always the wins, but sometimes the concerns because we're all mums. We're all kind of going through it together. Not only giving advice, it will be you could you could get people that will reassure you. Yeah, like, yeah. Actually, don't worry, like it will pick up. Yeah, um, yeah. My, I think. Sorry, go on, go on, go on. I was going to say. <laughs> no, I was going to say anything. Else. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. no, 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 has a very clear voice. If you can, mm. as my talk, her so voice is yes. sharp <laughs> and clear. No, mommy. I believe she's going to be a singer again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really talking to um, And Zeke now, his speech isn't as clear, but at mm. the same time, Zeke is more like Sienna. So it's like, you compare your children, but it's like, I'm expecting him to be more like, as a mm. writer, that's, like, that's the baby that came before him. Mm. But remembering that, okay, cool, actually, there's actually a larger window. Mm. And, and recognising at some point, actually, if it continues this way, it needs to yeah. seek help. You know, yeah. You need to go and look into it, um, if, like look for extra information and advice. But mm. actually, I think another thing that we parents do is set milestones of our own. Like, yeah, mm. we do. Expecting the child we definitely to walk do. by one. So like if they're not walking by their first birthday, you're like, concerned. Oh, yeah. 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 You know what I mean? yeah. yeah. But it's it's looking into what, you know, you know, health professionals kind of like advise. Yeah. Because mm. they will give you a bigger window. And although you don't want your child not being able to walk out down like, 24 months coming up to two or whatever, mm. you're like, okay, well, actually maybe this yeah is this is the thing precaution is important i think and i think naturally as parents like you said because there are children you protect everything about them you don't want to hear a bad word yeah so automatically it's like you're on defense yeah. when it's like oh you know he's not really able to put on his own clothes or or feed himself there's just like no he does he's just not doing it right now you know there's yeah. a natural like <laughs> defense like are you think why you showing me up you yeah, let me yeah, do this yeah, you know yeah. But sometimes the truth is, it's not like being in the system. It's not like, I don't know, being in, I don't know, the, the, the I don't know, going on some type of offenders list or something. It's not as serious as that. Mm -hmm. Like being in this system is more to help the child and progress, help them progress, as opposed to it being a no, negative. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. You normally do that. Yeah. Like a reflection of them. Of how you are and what you're not doing or what you're not doing enough and all the rest of it. Yeah. But I wonder if, like, and this is going on a bit of a tangent, but I wonder if, like, culturally, 
because of racism, it's systemic. It, it follows into everything. Do you know what I mean? Because of stereotypes and stuff like that. You don't, you, you don't want anybody in your business. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like actually, you know, like, we don't want to chat to the police. I don't want to chat to the health professionals. I don't want anybody extra. I don't want social services. Mm. I don't want anybody involved. I don't want my, name, my child's name written anywhere. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. them involved in everything. Because mm. ult- it's difficult, isn't it? But I guess you have to look at the priorities. What's more important to you? Having yeah. this person come into your situation to offer help or having your child thrive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. it is interesting. Off the back of my head. Yeah. Sorry. What? Just, like, a thought came to my head. When you said you don't want social service in your business, it reminded me of a time. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Guys, yeah. brace yourself. So, okay, fine. This is completely off topic, but I just want to say it. So, Amara and Isaiah are playing in the living room, right? Mm. I'm upstairs. Kiana's in the living room with them. Next minute, Amara starts crying. But it's not like the normal eh, cry. It's like, ah. So I run downstairs, I'm like, what happened? Her mouth is bleeding, like blood Whoa. is pouring from my mouth. So I'm like, what happened? Kiana's like, I don't know, I, I didn't see. Isaiah was like, well, I um I was we were playing and <laughs> I, I, I throw the pillow, but she was laughing and then she was crying. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, did you hit the pillow in her face? Like, yeah. like but her mouth is continuously bleeding. So Jeez. I'm like, and I'm trying to open it and I can see like the fleshy, it looks like it's torn it's, or something. Yeah. So I'm like, right, like maybe she's torn, you know the what is it called? <laughs> the bit like, underneath, the yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, wow, okay, fine. So I call um, 111. Actually, first I called the GP. They were like, oh, maybe call 111. Fine, call 111 now. Explain to them what happened. Huh. Guys, <laughs> this operator that I spoke to, it was bad. She was like, oh, so what happened? Um, you know, what were they doing? I was like, I, I don't know. I wasn't present at the time. But um, my, my son said that he'd thrown the pillow. Maybe the zip might have caught cool, on her uh, tongue yeah. or something. I don't really know. But... Um, yeah, I can't really tell you. She was just like, oh, okay, well, hmm, okay, bear with me a moment. She goes on, comes back. She's like, okay, so can you explain what happened again? Oh, wow. So I was just like, okay, I just told you I wasn't <laughs> present. This and this is the situation. She's like, okay, well, you know, it just seems a bit weird that a pillow can, you know, um, um, puncture the mouth like that. Did something else happen? I was like, okay. <laughs> what, are we, what are we trying to imply here? Like, yeah, where are we going with this? I, I've called you for help. Like, yeah. I, I don't understand what we're going with this, that just, this line of inquiry. Mm-hmm. It gets worse, babe. Okay. Fine. She's like, okay. Um, I was like, she's like, oh, um, do you want to bring her into the hospital so we can have a look? I was like, mm. okay, fine. No problem. So, no, no, sorry. They said they'll get the consultant to give me a call back. Mm. Fine. So d- during that time, she calms down. She's fine. The bleeding stops. Like, she's kind of just, um, she's just, just on me. Yeah. They call back. They're like, is she awake? Is she alert? All of that. Yeah, she's mm. fine. Like, she'd cry at the time from time to time, but she's generally fine within herself. Mm. So at this point, I make the executive decision. I tell my mother, she doesn't need to go to hospital. Yeah. I think she'll be fine. Why did they tell me, okay, we know, we think you should bring her in? I was like, no, it's fine. She's okay. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with not bringing her in. No, but we would like to see her. I was like, I'm sorry, why? And she said that she's fine. Oh, yeah, but we just want to check that she's okay. I was like, I'm telling you. <laughs> I tell mother, she's okay. Okay, well, are, are you refusing to bring her in? Oh, wow. I, like, I don't understand where we're going here. What, 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 <laughs> I called you. Yeah. For like, help. What, what is actually happening here? Um, they're like, okay, well, if, if you're refusing to bring her home in, we're going to have to note it down. And then um, you may get a call from welfare. And I was like, pardon? I was so angry. I couldn't believe what was happening. They then just said that, if I'm not, would I be comfortable doing a video call? And I said, okay, you can video call, no, no problem. Mm. They're like, oh, um, you need to take off her vest. What? <laughs> wow. Do you want to see that there's no bruises on my child? Or yeah, basically. I couldn't, I was livid. You know, like, be, I said, okay, I need your pin. Mm. I'm going to complain. This is ridiculous because I called you for help and now you turned it around. Yeah, like, hey, but the thing is, I'm you have to remember that, that there's some people out that, there. I know. You know, we've watched. My thing is, no, you call in. Th- there's people who have disorders, right? Which means they'll do things that just don't make sense. So, example, for example, I watched this documentary in real life. The man killed his. The, the woman killed her husband and then she called the police and said, Yeah, I've killed my husband. I stabbed him nine times. Blah. She explained the whole thing and said, Yeah, he's not breathing. It's not a normal thing to do. But you know what it is? So sometimes they're doing their job because the truth yeah, is, God forbid, that was someone who was in trouble. I've done this. I've done this. You've done this. No one of them. We want your pin. We need your pin first. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. It's a safeguard, isn't it? Like, yeah. I've, 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 I've literally 
recently had a case where this young person, I think the girl had a bruise and they noticed it in reception. But this is when I was a school nurse. Yeah. And um, like our healthcare systems go and do height and weight and stuff like that. Yeah. So they noticed the bruise and then speaking to the mum, the mum had a different story to the girl. The girl, and, it, mm. and not even that, it sounded like, it just it sounded like what they were telling me wasn't, wouldn't show the bruise. It doesn't it match. It didn't match up. Like they're saying, obviously, what, the, the mum or the, the child. So both stories, it just didn't okay. match. It mm. didn't match. But then, obviously, we had to investigate. We had to go for an investigation. And it didn't go to social care mm -hmm. because we did our investigations. We asked questions. We met them. Like, we did joint meetings. And eventually, we just re realised it was a language barrier. Mum was describing the bed as the chair and the chair and the bed. Oh, and my goodness. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. was, mm. it was basically one of those things. But the thing is, you need to remember is that there's families out there. They may not have a disorder, mm. but there's people that mistreat children they, yeah they, they they not only mistreat them they they are harm they cause harm mm. yeah like but if you cause harm they go anyways. on child protection plans they go on child yeah. plans mm. they have the government in their business but yeah. they, I because feel like they need it when you when you i guess in my head when you're in a certain position for a certain amount of time you can kind of pick up on situations that you feel are causes of concern and some you can't, you, you but then you'll be surprised obviously i don't know what this is the later, thing because you know yourself you, then, you know you love your child you know you're not someone to harm mm -hmm. your child yeah. that's why you have an offense kind of thing towards yeah. it it's like yeah. it's a bit like me how dare you yeah. accuse me of that yeah. but bear in mind on the other end you're just another mother with another child and you've called that's in true. and there is risks yeah. so we and have Aaron, to Aaron mitigate story. those risks do you know yeah. what i mean yeah and Aaron's story is mad that. Yeah, because the pillow is a soft feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're saying the pillow and the lip is bleeding. It's just, it's not adding up. Yeah, like it's true. Like, you know and put it this way, put it this way. What if, what if Amara's nursery, she came back and they said, someone threw a pillow on her, but her mouth is bleeding. You you're not going to believe that. <laughs> you're going to want their pin. I understand. Like, part of my frustration was, I didn't see it. Mm, so in yeah. my head, I'm like, what? Like, I can't even answer your questions because and as her mum, I didn't see it. And that frustrated that me as well. And mm -hmm. that causes fear in mothers, you know, or parents full stop. Like, being able to say I wasn't there because then yeah. there's a concern of why weren't why you there? Weren't you there? Yeah. You open up a whole new... Oh, yeah, you know, you know, with little ones, you kind of need to have eyes at the back of your head. And I was just so, like, no can you just shut the F up? <laughs> yeah. Like, Whoa. Like, Whoa. That's how I felt. Like, guys, don't play with me and my kids. Like, honestly, I really felt like, no, First of all, don't question me and my motherhood. Okay, I can go to the toilet and come back and anything can happen. Yeah, I know. I was in the toilet. That's what I was doing, FYI. I was in the toilet. I remember that. But anyway, um, but yeah, like you can't really, I can't control what's happened. They were playing. They were laughing a minute ago. Yeah. And now happened. But does yeah. that mean that I'm now the, 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 the main suspect in this? Yeah. The, the thing this is, is they the ask thing. questions, don't you? I know it's easy to feel like a suspect, but the way they're asking questions, but they're asking questions to inquire the safety of the child. Yeah, and that's like, it. Ezekiel burnt his hand. I was at work. On the iron, my husband was iron, Jeez. and he turned his back for a second. But the thing is, they look at certain things. They look at consistency. So, does it look like someone put his hand on the iron, or does, or does it, look it look like, like a quick brush that, against? Or, yeah. Or, or, there's ways that they they use to assess, and that's mm. the reason why they will ask questions and they want to see the child and and you know like yeah. explore what's actually happened mm. and if it matches up. Like, I mean, they're doing their jobs, isn't it? Yeah, they are. And the thing is, I think another thing is we have to remember it's all about the child. So mm. even when on the flip side, even when it's your nursery, if your child is at a, a, a child minders or whatever setting, you need to be able to equally ask your questions, interrogate, cross, match, try and match the stories because I've had incidents at my old nursery, my son's old nursery, and I had to, like the emails. Like I, I know the lady wanted to quit, but I, I don't care. I need to be sure because if it was other way around, you need to. Be, I need to be sure that. This was actually an accident. I need to be sure that your setting is safe for my child. Yeah. Well, we're not together right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, like, I, I, I put this in. Should I also? Mm -hmm. Some bits I was going to be extra. So they told me to remove it. But okay, I'm a bit OTT like that. But the truth is, it's a child, and most, especially when they can't speak yet. Yes. And I was just crying yeah. with her mouth bleeding. Yeah. She can't, you know, repeat the story yeah. or articulate yeah. it properly. Yeah. When they're a bit older, it's like, yeah, it was a pillow, but the zip caught my mouth. Yeah. She can't say yeah. that bit. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. I suppose I get the anger because you know yourself, but in the same breath, I think you just have to think about the child and go through what you have to go through for the benefit of the child. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not easy though. Let's no, be honest. No, it it's never not is. Easy. But ultimately, the children are our main priority. Literally, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Always, always, we always have always. to put the children first. Yeah, 100%. So speaking of like milestones and stuff, how have you guys potty trained? Because I'm currently in the stage where I think it's time for her to be potty trained. She's two, right? Mm -hmm. But when I read up on it, it's like, um, 
let them, they, like, what is it? They'll kind of let you like, know. Signs of readiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they'll let you know. So with Isaiah, I thought he was ready way before he actually was. So when I'm like, come on, we on the toilet. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And he's being on the floor and I'm just like, what is happening here? <laughs> actually, he wasn't, he wasn't ready. Because mm-hmm. when he was ready, he was like, I need to go wee wee. And then he'll make his way to the mm-hmm. toilet. But it's like, I was going off the milestones that I thought he had to reach. So, okay, it says that like one to 18 months, maybe start putting them on the potty, getting them used to... Is that what they say? Well, I'm giving an example. I can't oh, remember okay. the exact actual... Yeah, yeah. it's roughly two, roughly that like two-ish. Around yeah, like two, three. 18, yeah. Two, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But for me, it was like, okay, it says that you should be ready, so therefore you mm. should be ready. But actually, no. Like, mm. he, he wasn't. And with Amara, like, I, I, again, I've kind of slipped back into, well, when we get to that age, maybe you should be ready. But actually, is she? I don't know. Like, how did you guys do it? Do you know what? With the girls, well, Zeke, we haven't got there yet. Mm. Same as these two. But with the girls, I just took a nappy off. I had girls that like, easier, though. Is that so, true? I so much easier. Off. I don't know. I haven't done Zeke yet. <laughs> I, 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 I literally took the nappy off, and it's a nightmare, like, the first two, one, yeah. two yeah. days. But after that, they start to, like... They start to say it. They start to say it. So even if they're not saying previously, like, mm. you know, oh, I need to wee or whatever, they start saying it because mm. now they know that... They're conscious oh, that, oh, yeah. Happening. Or I'm going to wet myself. Yeah, like, yeah. Not wanting, you know, not desiring that feeling. So mm. they're going to want to go... And having the potty, obviously, nearby and mm. you know, whatever. Um, make sure you don't have carpet. It's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, one of the signs of readiness, they say... It's like your child taking off their clothes or taking off their nappy. Yeah. And that's what happened with my boy. I didn't think he was ready, but he just wouldn't keep the nappy on. Mm. So what could we do? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Every time he saw, he'd be ripping it off, taking it off, pulling down his trousers at nursery. They're yeah. like, oh, he keeps wanting to take off his trousers. Like, because I think he didn't like it. But even though he was ready, he still took ages do you know what I mean mm-hmm. like I'm sure me having a child in between didn't help mm-hmm. because then there was regression he wanted to open his legs and have his nappy changed and all well. of, do you know what yeah, I mean yeah. so that didn't help but um yeah I think he just showed I, I thought it was a bit early to be honest but he showed the signs so we had to kind yeah. of start it I think the same for Makaya like he was always taking off his nappy he but he put it trained pretty quickly I think if anyone actually delayed him it was the nursery Oh, really? Yeah, because at home he was like taking off his nappy and stuff like that. So I realized he was ready. So, like, I'll take him to the toilet. He seemed like he was, he didn't like the potty. So, I actually just took that out completely, mm-hmm. did the toilet instead. And he, he seemed like he was, he was, you know, kind of following. Every now and again, he'd go to the toilet, he would like touch his nappy. So, I know when he wants to go. But because the nap, the nursery had nappies, I think they just couldn't be bothered mm. to actually go through that. Because I told them, oh, by the way, he's ready. But he wasn't necessarily saying wee wee, but he would do things that would make you quite obvious. So he yeah. might even walk to the toilet. So you know he wants a wee. But I think they just couldn't be bothered. So they just left the nappy on. So one day I collected all the nappy from them. I made sure there was no nappy in the bag. I said, by the way, he's got pants on. Yeah. And all weekend he's been great. He had no, cause he literally had no accidents. Yeah. So you're gonna have to figure it out. You can't come and just let a child digress because you can't be bothered. Because yeah. someone's actually doing something. Yeah. And once I did that part of it. That's Fairly quickly, just a few days, and literally, yeah. it's perfect. Thing, but I feel like nursery helped. Mm. In terms of the yeah, it depends yeah. on who, who it is. It's the old nursery. Old nursery. My good, my like the old nursery. Thing. We'll have a whole another talk about nursery. So I think that's that's the topic. Yeah. But yeah, the old nursery was um <clears throat> interesting. Nah, this nursery was really helpful. Like we took the nappy off maybe like on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We we're going through the wars of. Yeah, Where yeah. I, and on the Monday, I said, "Listen, we've tried. We started this. Can you like kind of?" And then yeah, they they were really supportive. They helped. Obviously, she was having accidents at nursery and stuff, mm. but. I mean, they're gonna, that's but they need to help because the child spends so much more time at Definitely. nursery the whole day from 8 a.m. to 6 or whatever. If you're not helping, you're, you're going to digress the child yeah. because it's too many hours for them to not keep in that same pattern. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, good nursery is important. And I think it depends on who you get as well. Some um, care professionals in nurseries care about it much more. And some of them are just like, oh, there's only two. Do you know what I mean? So everyone has their own perspective. Maybe they have their own child that did it at three instead of two. So just don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah. Do you know and what I mean? guess two, they're still in like the two to threes rooms. So it's definitely a mixed bag. Yeah. Whereas by three, they're in three to four rooms. All of them are potty training. Yeah. They're all going to the toilet then, innit? Yeah, that's another point so, as well. But yeah, for Roman, the nursery was, was good. Okay, guys. So today's topic has been all about development, milestones, bit of tangents here and there. But, you know, <laughs> you get the gist of what we're saying to you. 
we keep saying to you every week, tell us your thoughts, give us your story. Your concerns, like, even. Honestly, honestly. Um, any advice you have as well. You yeah. may know someone that knows someone that's actually a speech and language therapist, but, mm. you know, that's been through it. Or, you know, share our video, like, comment, subscribe. Every week we're telling you what to do. You should be doing it by now. <laughs> we are Mums and Melanin. Thank you for joining us. Bye. See ya.